What's the difference between carbon steel and stainless steel cookware? And why would you choose one over the other? Keep watching to find out. Prudent Reviews. Hi, I'm Andrew with Prudent Reviews, where we help you find the best products for your home. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe for in-depth and unbiased reviews of cookware, kitchen knives, appliances, and more. Stainless steel and carbon steel pans have a lot in common. They're both durable, versatile, and ideal for searing and browning meats. They're workhorse pans that can last a lifetime, but there are some major differences between the two. In this video, I break down those differences and give you an up-close look at how they perform side by side. Let's get started. Carbon steel is an alloy made up of 99% iron and 1% carbon. Most manufacturers make their carbon steel pans the same way. They start with a flat sheet of carbon steel that's been heat treated to resist corrosion. They cut that sheet into a circle and a machine punches it into the shape of the pan. Finally, they attach the handle to the base with two rivets. On the flip side, stainless steel cookware can be constructed in a variety of ways with many different materials, and the process is a bit more complicated. Because stainless steel doesn't heat well on its own, most brands create their pans by bonding exterior layers of steel with a heat conductive core layer such as copper or aluminum. This process of bonding different metals together is often referred to as cladding, and the resulting cookware is marketed as multi-clad or fully clad. Some brands layer the conductive materials throughout the cookware, while others bond it only to the base. When aluminum or copper is bonded only to the base, the sides of the cookware won't heat as evenly. The point here is that most carbon steel pans are made of just carbon steel, so the performance is similar across brands. The materials and construction of stainless steel pans can vary significantly across brands, therefore, the performance varies too. When you first buy a carbon steel pan, it has a smooth gray or blue exterior. But over time, the appearance changes, and it can get a bit blotchy and ugly. Although, the more you use carbon steel, the darker and more uniform the appearance will become. On the other hand, stainless steel pans come out of the box with a gorgeous polished exterior, and they can maintain their original beauty for years after purchase. The notable difference between carbon steel and stainless steel pans is the level of chromium in the steel. Chromium protects the steel from rust and corrosion caused by exposure to moisture and acidic foods. Most stainless steel cookware is made of steel that contains 18% chromium. Carbon steel doesn't contain enough chromium to be corrosion resistant, therefore it's prone to become rusty and discolored, especially when the protective layer of seasoning on the cooking surface is wearing thin. Although carbon steel doesn't maintain its original beauty, you can minimize rust and discoloration by keeping the pan seasoned and drying it thoroughly after cleaning. Stainless steel pans, especially ones with fully clad construction, distribute heat more evenly than carbon steel pans. As I mentioned previously, stainless steel is not a conductive material on its own. But since stainless steel pans are made with highly conductive aluminum or copper at the core, they heat up fast and evenly. Carbon steel heats up quicker and more evenly than cast iron because of its thinner design, but carbon steel has a lower thermal conductivity than aluminum and copper. So between these two materials, stainless steel pans will typically transfer heat better. That said, after a minute or two of preheating, both carbon steel and stainless steel pans distribute heat evenly, and it's rare to experience any hot or cold spots with either. The thickness of a pan has the most significant impact on heat retention. Because carbon steel pans are generally all constructed similarly, they retain heat to a similar degree. Heat retention varies more with stainless steel. Thicker pans with more bonded layers can hold heat better than cheaper, thinner pans. Heat retention plays an important role when searing meat. You want a pan that will hold its temperature when you add a cold steak, burger patty, or piece of salmon in it. Keep that in mind when shopping for both carbon steel and stainless steel pans. One of the advantages that carbon steel has over stainless steel is its heat tolerance. It's one of the reasons why carbon steel is a staple in professional kitchens. You can leave it on hot burners for extended periods without any issues. And you can even use it on the grill or over a campfire. Most carbon steel pans can tolerate heat up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, but some can go even higher. For example, the made in blue carbon steel frying pan is oven safe up to 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Most stainless steel pans can withstand up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, but some can go even higher. For example, all clad stainless steel pans can handle 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Responsiveness is the ability of a pan to quickly react when you change the heat from low to high or from high to low. 
A responsive pan gives you control over what you're cooking. The good news is that both carbon steel and stainless steel pans respond quickly to temperature changes, but the underlying factors that make each responsive are different. Carbon steel heats and cools quickly due to its thinner walls and lighter weight construction. Stainless steel, on the other hand, gets its responsiveness from the aluminum or copper core, which are two highly conductive materials. If you're looking for the ultimate responsiveness, go with a stainless steel pan with a copper core layer or a copper exterior. Copper has significantly higher thermal conductivity than aluminum, carbon steel, and any other materials used to make cookware. One of the greatest benefits of both stainless steel and carbon steel pans is their versatility. They're both compatible with all cooktops, even induction, and you can use them safely in the oven and under a broiler. You can use both types of pans for searing, browning, sauteing, broiling, braising, and even baking. However, carbon steel pans have one major limitation. You can't cook acidic foods in carbon steel. A squeeze of lemon or a splash of wine won't hurt, but prolonged exposure to acidic foods like tomato sauce will strip the seasoning right off the cooking surface. Stainless steel is a better all-purpose pan because it has virtually no limitations in terms of use. You can use it for nearly any recipe and it won't react with acidic ingredients. The one downside to stainless steel pans is that delicate foods like eggs and fish can stick to the surface if you don't use the proper techniques. With carbon steel, this isn't an issue because the layer of seasoning acts as a non-stick coating. Similar to cast iron skillets, carbon steel pans need to be seasoned to become non-stick. Seasoning isn't difficult, but it takes time and you need to redo it whenever the pan becomes sticky, rusty, or discolored. In terms of cleaning, carbon steel cannot go in the dishwasher and soap will ruin the layer of seasoning. However, hand washing carbon steel pans is fairly easy. Its slick, seasoned surface releases food quickly, so a soft cloth with warm water will usually do the trick. For stuck on bits of food, sprinkle salt on the pan and rub it with a paper towel before rinsing. Stainless steel pans don't require seasoning, you can wash them with soap, and most are dishwasher safe, although I don't recommend that. However, stainless steel pans can actually be harder to clean because the surface isn't as slick as carbon steel. Stainless steel is widely available and you can find it in a range of cookware types. You'll find stainless steel frying pans, saucepans, saute pans, stock pots, and much more. No matter which brand you choose, they'll likely have a stainless steel collection. Carbon steel cookware is much less prevalent and it's generally limited to frying pans, skillets, and woks. Most carbon steel pans are significantly less expensive than stainless steel. In some cases, they're up to 70% cheaper. Most carbon steel pans are around $50 to $70, but you can find them as low as $30. The price of stainless steel pans vary drastically by brand and collection. There are stainless steel pans that cost over $200 and others that cost $25. The cost depends on the materials, the number of layers, the thickness, the quality of the finish, and where it's made. But overall, the average 12-inch carbon steel pan is less expensive than the average 12-inch stainless steel pan. Now that you know the key differences between carbon steel and stainless steel pans, which should you buy? The truth is, it's not an either-or situation. These two types of cookware complement each other. With stainless steel, you can cook any ingredient, including tomato sauces and dishes with a lot of acidic ingredients. With carbon steel, you get a slicker surface which lends itself to stir fries, sauteing, and more delicate foods like eggs. Both are excellent for roasting, searing, browning, braising, boiling, and even baking. If you're only planning to buy one piece of cookware and need it for all types of meals, go with stainless steel. It requires less maintenance and you can cook anything in it. However, if you're planning on buying a few pieces of cookware or investing in a complete set, I highly recommend buying a stainless steel set and complementing it with one carbon steel pan. If you're ready to buy, I'll link to my favorite stainless steel and carbon steel pans in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, so I'll earn a commission if you click those links and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If you found this video helpful, check out this video where I highlight the best cookware brands that are not made in China. And don't forget to click on this logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.